Hey guys, TM Pokemon here, and today we're going to be showing off our shiny team for Legends Arceus. Now, goes without saying, Legends Arceus, spoiler warnings here. If you do not want to be spoiled, please click off the video. Um, I'm going to be going over all of the sh uh, my shiny forms, and some of these Pokemon have not been revealed. And I do not want to show you guys something that you guys do not want to see or you do not want to get spoiled. So, yeah, make sure you guys click off the video if you do not want to be spoiled. Just give you a warning. About 15 seconds, I'm going to be showing the first one. But make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And, yeah, honestly, I cannot wait to show you guys this. So let's get right into it. The first member of the team. If you saw the leak video, you know I was gushing about Avalug, man. I am a big fan of this Hisuian Avalug. Just looks like a brute force Pokemon, honestly. Big, big fan. It just looks really good. And the shiny with the orange looks really nice. So this thing is making it into my shiny team. Member number one. I mean, it's I'm not going to catch these in this order. Uh, probably whichever ones you find earlier in the game, I'm going to be the you know hunting first. But this is probably going to be Bergmite into Avalug. Probably going to be in the ice region, which I did hear there's a new Frostbite uh, thing getting added, which is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, next, we get into member number two of the team, and it's going to be Arcanine, shiny Arcanine. The yellow looks great on it. The design for Arcanine is amazing, so I could not leave it out of this team. Honestly, super big fan of the just the Pokemon in general, and the shiny just looks nice. The yellow just makes it look still godly and majestic. I am just a big fan of it, and I cannot wait to look for it in these games. Now, Member number three is going to be Zora, a.k.a. Zoroark, you know, evolves into Zoroark. Both shinies are amazing. Zora with the blue, Zoroark with the purple. Both of them just look so good, and I cannot wait to see this Pokemon in-game because, uh, sorry, I forgot to even go over the typings. Normal Ghost. I mean, that typing is insane. I mean, Fighting types, which is strong against Normal, can't even hit it anymore because it has the Ghost typing. And, of course, Arcanine is, I believe, Fire Rock. And Avalug is either Ice Rock or Ice Ground. I can't remember which one it is, but it's one of the two. And yeah, Zoro and Zoroark have amazing shinies. The blue and the purple, they nailed that on. Honestly, it just looks so good. And yeah, huge fan. And honestly, looking forward to uh, seeing this Pokemon in-game. And uh, yeah, honestly, it just is really nice. And next up, we got Sneasel and its evolution. I do not know the name for its evolution, but I knew I do know it's not Weavile. Like, its name's not Weavile. It's got a different name. Sneasel looks really nice. The gold accents with the blue just looks really good. But it evolves into this gold yellow color that I really, really like. I like that they made the color all yellow for the shiny on the body. And it just looks very, very good. Honestly, I'm a huge fan of it. And I cannot wait to, 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 to shiny hunt this Pokemon. And shiny hunt all these Pokemon. That's team number number four. Sorry, I forgot to even say that. But yeah, this thing just looks amazing. Honestly, Sneasel. Uh, has a really nice shiny already in uh, you know in the uh, in its original form so in this form the Hisuian farm I'd say it rivals it I'd say it's close I'd say they definitely battle for which one's better and next up we got team number number five is Quillfish and its evolution I do not know the name for its evolution sorry but Quillfish and its evolution remind me a lot of Alolan Corsola and it's such a nice shiny I'm a big fan of the lighter colors and the purple on the tips of the of the spikes it just looks so good and i really want to see this uh quillfish evolution in game because it looks a little bit derpy you know just a little bit on the pictures but i think it's just because you know we, we aren't seeing it in its environment i feel like it could be a little bit of that and it's just a new pokemon you know you always say that a little bit like oh this pokemon doesn't look that good kind of thing but it just looks so good to me honestly the shiny form looks, looks amazing i'm really excited really excited uh, to play this game, and I'm also just very excited to see these Pokemon in my team, hopefully, very soon. And next up, we got team number six. Team number number six, and it's Basque Legion. Now, this is a hard choice. I'm probably going to hunt Basculin and then evolve it into this kind of thing. But the male or female form, which one do I choose? They're both amazing. I mean, the purple looks amazing. The yellow looks amazing. What am I supposed to do? I have two yellows in my team, but I also have two purple accents in my team. Which one do I choose? Um, honestly, I think it's just going to be the thing where I'm just going to go hunt Basculin. And if it's a male, it's a male. If it's a female, it's a female. And if there's just places where only males or only females spawn, then I guess it is what it is. Or if it's over a 50-50 odd, like 
oh, it's most likely going to be male, then I guess it is what it is. But if we get that shiny female, then I guess that's even better, you know, like um, in terms of rarity. But honestly, this team looks like it's going to wreck. And I forgot to even say the typings of the last three. Sneasel and its evolution, I believe, are poison fighting. Uh, Quillfish is dark poison. And then Basque Legion is water ghost. So I cannot wait to play this game, honestly. And it just looks so good, the graphics and everything. And you guys are also probably asking the question, like, hey, he doesn't have a starter in that team. And yeah, that's true. Because honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Because I need to know, um, is, for example, the Pokemon's going to, the starter Pokemon, are they going to spawn in the wild, like all three of them, kind of thing. Like you see them in the wild and you can see if they're shiny or not. Or do you have to actually encounter them to see if they're shiny or not? So if you don't have to encounter them to see if they're shiny, then I'll hunt them and I'll just pick whichever one is shiny. And also I heard a rumor. I heard a rumor and it's that starter Pokemon are actually going to be in the wild. These starter Pokemon, the Rowlet, uh, Cyndaquil, and uh, Oshawa. So all three of them are going to be in the wild. So maybe I'll just shiny hunt them in the wild instead at some point. Um, but yeah, so that's why I left them off the list. I also didn't want to put on a starter because, you know, I didn't know for sure if I was going to hunt a starter. So I just want to let you guys know that. But yeah, basically, this is my team of six. We got Avlug. We got Arcanine, Sneasel, which evolves into its new evolution. Don't know the name. Quillfish evolves into new evolution, which I also don't know the name. Then we got Zora, which goes into Zoroark. And Basket Legion, which comes from Basculin. Honestly, just so excited for this game. I cannot wait. I mean, this game just looks so good. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, everything just looks amazing about it, honestly. And uh, comment down below. What starter are you guys choosing? And which shiny is your favorite? And are you guys building a shiny team? Because if you are, I want to know what that shiny team is in the comments. Um, honestly, uh, just this game looks amazing and I cannot wait to play it. And honestly, very much looking forward to this game and just, you know, making content on it. We're going to be making... Uh, uh, episodes on just us going through the game normally and we're gonna be streaming us shiny hunting these Pokemon so make sure you guys subscribe and you know put on that bell so that you guys can know when I'm going live or posting a brand new video which is usually 2 p.m. every day but this is a bit of an exception um, and also wanted to just say thank you guys so much for checking out this video and yeah that's about it for the video I'm gonna wrap it up here thank you guys for uh, watching the video and make sure to have a great day or night if you're watching this at night Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.